For the sesame lime vinaigrette, you're gonna add soy sauce, squeeze of lime, Honey, ginger, chopped garlic, black pepper, salt, then you're going to mix it up. Add your sesame seed oil. and your olive oil. Typically you'd want to run it with a immersion blender or a blender and you'll be able to do that. Here's what you want. You can also do pour it into a container with the lid and then you want to shake it vigorously and it will come together. So this would be the alternate way of doing it. So just make sure it doesn't leak on you. Shake it up really good. And you will have a nice good vinaigrette. It holds together. Taste it. Adjust. And this is what it looks like. As you can see it suspends. Comes out really nice. For the salad we're going to do a Napa cabbage slaw. So we're going to cut our cabbage very thin. Nice and thin. Place it into the bowl. Get a carrot and you're going to julienne it. You may use the mandolin if you'd like. So cut off the ends. Make sure your knife is sharp. Just like this. Put it into a nice little stack. into the bowl to get a red onion. Cut off the ends. Take off a couple of the leaves. You can just one, use one. Flatten it like this. Julienne. Place that into the bowl. You're going to do your red bell pepper. Take off the ends. And you want to cut out the ribs. So you want to run your knife along the back side of it so that you see nothing but red. It should be all red. You might be able to get a little bit more off, like so. And it should be like that. Julienne into your bowl. Get some cilantro and just get a rough chop. Kind of keep them whole, just like this. Add them in. And you're going to get some mushrooms. These two, and this is the best way to clean them. You should want to use your uh, parry knife for this. So cut off the stems. And for this application, you're going to remove the outer layer skin. So you have a nice looking clean mushroom. This is the best way to do it for salads. And as you can see, let me just remove. And then you can go ahead and slice them any way you want. I'll cut it in half, cut it nice and thin. And add them into your salad. And then you've got this beautiful salad here. And you're going to add that vinaigrette to it with the salmon on top. A nice, beautiful array of colors, mushrooms, 
cilantro. All right, for the cabbage. salmon, you guys are going to be getting in the whole salmon heads on everything. I'll go ahead and fabricate it for you guys. But basically, it's going to look just like this with the skin on. I'm going to remove the skin off of this. So basically, what you'll do is you'll get a knife, and this is a farm-raised salmon. You're going to get your knife, run it along the edge, and we will take off all the skin. Make sure your knife is sharp. And once you get a good grip of it, you should come right off. And there we go. Take it off. I cut yours into four ounce portions. I've got a cup about three here, so we'll go ahead and cut here. We've got two nice portions. Season it really well, salt and black pepper. I like to do a honey mustard and sear it. You don't have to, it works out really good, but season it with salt and pepper, and then we'll go ahead and sear it, and then, or grill it. Okay, to put it together, we got our nice salad. Give your dressing one final vigorous shake. You'll place some of it in there. Some you could use for the top of your salmon. So lightly add it in. You don't want to drown it in the sauce, okay? You just want a nice light sauce, okay? You're going to bring your plate over. Place that salmon or the slaw, which is the Napa cabbage slaw, right on your plate. Place your salmon right on top, like that. Add a lime garnish, and then you may add a little more sauce on top of your salmon, and there you go. We have a nice good salmon with the Napa cabbage slaw.